Hi, everybody. I'm Shane Wang. My parents are immigrants, and sometimes it's very hard for me to think about it. Like, like the whole idea of immigration sounds crazy. You know, like, can you imagine leaving home right now? You just leave all your friends, all your family, you move to a completely foreign country just so your offspring can have more opportunities. And then your kid goes into stand-up comedy. <laughs> You're like, dang, son, that's too much opportunities. <laughs> we didn't come here for that. We wanted you to not work in a factory. We didn't want you to follow your dreams. You <laughs> There's a little bit of pressure. You know, like, I'm trying to be a better person. This year, my goal is to black out less. <laughs> It's, it's a very difficult goal to track. <laughs> I think I'm succeeding, but I might just not remember failing. <laughs> I recently went out with my girlfriend. I decided she was going to be the designated driver, but I did not bother to tell her about my decision. <laughs> I just went ahead and got crazy sloppy because actions speak louder than gibberish. <laughs> it got to that point where, forget about driving, folks. Forget about driving. I might not make the cut as a passenger. <laughs> mm. It was gonna be a challenge to keep my body inside my car <laughs> and my insides inside my body. <laughs> We went to a drive-thru, and she had to keep locking the doors to stop me from getting out, because I told her, everybody lined up in the cars behind us, they all want to see me dance. <laughs> After she protected me from getting hate crime on. <laughs> We went home, and I immediately took off my jeans because I'm about to eat seven jalapeno poppers. <laughs> and I'm not gonna dignify that kind of meal with pants. <laughs> but then my girl noticed a large wet spot on my boxes. She got upset. She was like, did you pee yourself? I said the coolest thing you could say in that situation. I said, probably. <laughs> so I, I moved to New York because drunk driving is bad, and here we have a lot more options. <laughs> I used to live in L.A. And one night I'm on the road, I wasn't sure that I was okay to be behind the wheel. I'm at an intersection, an SUV pulls up, and these beautiful Latinas roll down the windows. And they're like, hey, <laughs> do you want to eat a hot dog? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> so I said, yes. <laughs> They passed me a regular hot dog, drove off. <laughs> this is where things got freaky. <laughs> because with no hesitation whatsoever, I ate the whole thing in my car. At which point I realized, that's a pretty good sign I'm not okay to be on the road right now. <laughs> what just happened? I just received and consumed an unsolicited hot dog from complete strangers out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> I just failed a very bizarre field sobriety test. <laughs> One night, 
I was at the Milwaukee airport waiting for a connection flight. And uh, I had this crazy idea because I found this random can of tuna in my backpack. <laughs> and I was like, let's make this a heartier meal. I'm gonna put that in my salad, right? Because it's protein and it's gonna fill me up, but it's also smelly, unorthodox behavior. <laughs> like, no one does that. And I was worried because if you're white and you're weird, you're a weirdo. But if you're Asian dude at the Milwaukee airport and you start to step out of line, then you just created a whole bunch of new stereotypes for your people. <laughs> Folks are like, look at that guy. They all do that. <laughs> So I was paranoid. I was really, you know, concerned that people were watching me, judging me, thinking I was being weird or cheap or whatever. And then I went to this whole new level of fear. I got worried that people thought I was eating cat food. <laughs> For no reason, I just was sure people were thinking like, hey, that Chinese dude is putting friskies in his Caesar salad. <laughs> Everybody take a picture. <laughs> Put it on the internet and tag Asia. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Thank you very much. I'm Tim Wayne.